Hello and welcome to Waiheke Media Teacher. This is the first in a series of tutorials on how to use the open source video editor Caden Live for editing video. Now I'm running Caden Live on uh, Ubuntu Linux, although the KDE project, who is the uh, creator of Caden Live, does have uh, a version that is available for Windows, although I haven't tried this version and so I'm not sure. Um, about how I'm pretty it looks exactly the same, but I don't know about how it runs occasionally the Windows ports of Linux um, things that are sort of natively Linux can have some bugs um, but give it a shot on on a machine and, and see how it goes but predominantly um, I'm talking about running it on an Ubuntu Linux machine if you're at a school and a lot of times the schools are uh, particularly in New Zealand are a bit strapped for budgets and so it can often be that there's some older machines sitting around that are um no longer really running updated versions of Windows, although they will run uh, Linux distributions quite nicely, particularly Ubuntu is an easy distribution to acquire and to get on a machine. I'm currently running Caden Live on an Ubuntu machine that is by no stretch of the imagination uh, a top-end machine, although it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which uh, is a minimum requirement for Caden Live. And most video editing really requires a minimum of 16, if not more. Uh, I'm running it on 16 uh, gigabytes of, of RAM on a on a, uh, Ubuntu Linux, and it, it runs fine so far for for the for the um, reasons that I need to edit video, which are not huge projects, but um, it runs fine. Um, you can download Caden Live from their website at kdenlive.org, kdenlive.org. Um, now it is a Caden Live is uh, an open source video editor. It does multi-track video editing, which means you can uh, uh, have multiple layers of video and audio at the same time that you're manipulating you on a timeline. Uh, much like many of the commercial uh, editors are pretty much this follow the same same model. Uh, one of the things that's great about Caden Live, as I find, is that it'll pretty much import and deal with any kind of video format that is out there. I haven't had one yet that is not uh, imported seamlessly. And similarly with audio, it's quite a highly configurable interface. Now uh, you can change the colors, you can change the where the different panels are located, you can turn panels on and off, and you can even change it to be the darker theme, etc. And there's also lots of uh, keyboard shortcuts which can be handy in video there's lots of quite a lot of things to do and having some keyboard shortcuts is um it's quite handy it also comes with a fairly basic titler uh, for making titles uh, and doing a little bit of animation with titles as well so in some later videos we'll explore uh, some of these other features uh, including the titler it does have a lot of um, it's uh, comes with a, a great set of effects and transitions um, I've pretty much for my purposes I've found everything I needed in there and I'm still learning a bit about how to do some of these composite transitions etc myself um, what else? There apparently, there well, there is a sort of a an online resources uh, box that you can actually fire up from within Caden Live. I haven't found particularly anything uh, of great value in there yet. Although there are some, you know, interesting wipes. I suppose if that's your thing. Um, yeah, and you can do some animations on it, some key frameable effects. So actually, um, compared to some of the uh, commercial. Uh, varieties of editors out there I'd say it's it's right up there Caden Live it's uh, quite similar to I've worked with Adobe Premiere Pro um, and Final Cut Pro and in principle it's essentially a very similar and workable interface possibly not I mean Adobe Premiere Pro is quite well known for its um, color corrections uh, and, and things in that area and a lot of the uh, transitions etc are quite professional in those in those in those uh, products so it's not uh, doesn't have quite that's one aspect that's possibly not as um, you know professional in Caden Live but for a lot of projects particularly quick editing projects on YouTube it's a fantastic option so I'm just going to go over in this first tutorial a little bit on how to um, just some of the interface of of Caden Live uh, here's what it looks like uh, when you first fire it up um, there's three areas that I'm going to talk about today. One is the um, the project bin. This is on the left-hand side panel here. 
And this is where all your clips um, are imported into your project. Um, uh, the next bit I'm going to talk about is this clip slash project monitor area over here. And then finally, we'll do a little bit on the timeline, which is kind of your main area for uh, editing and working with your project. Um, the project bin is quite simple. going to import um, and add some clips. So I've got a couple of uh, clips here that I'll add. And, and you can see as I add them, they end up in the, the showing in this clip uh, monitor. I'll add a couple of more. And now as I switch between them, uh, they show up in this uh, clip monitor area here. Um, one of the nice things about uh, this this clip uh, monitor area here is I'm going to go back to this clip here is that you can do some minimal editing in here and particularly by setting some in points and out points so often when you import a clip into um, into your editor there's only a tiny segment of that clip that you really want and so it's nice to be able to do a little bit of sort of early editing uh, before you get it into the timeline so I know I'm going to want to start this clip right about when he's opening the door um, I'm using the mouse at the moment to move this playhead backwards and forwards, but you can to get more refined um, frame by frame by using the uh, mouse keys. So I want to start my clip there. And so I'm going to set this in zone right here and set an in point. I'm going to play my clip. And I want to stop it right there. That's the only bit I really want for this for the purpose of this project, say. So I set an out point. Now as I drag, I can drag this clip down into my timeline. My timeline is divided into um, layers for video and layers for audio. So I've dragged it into a video layer. And here's a playhead now for the timeline. Um, as I move between the, between the clip monitor down into the timeline, I'm switching between clip monitor and project monitor. And so... Project monitor is will will show me what is actually down here in the timeline area and and clip monitor is showing me actually what I'm working on as a clip. So at the moment my project is only showing this uh this yellowish tractor, but my clip monitor is showing me what I'm working with in a clip up here. So I'll go down to uh, the project and I've dragged my clip in and I should only get the bit that I had dragged in. So that's quite nice because as I start acquiring a series of clips uh, in here, uh, I just want to go here as I set an endpoint. I'm going to go along, set an out point, and now I'll drag this clip. I can either drag it down to the same uh, to the same layer that I had before, and just that would be a simple cut transition. And there we go. Uh, or I can, if I'm doing things like transitions, etc., uh, layer on top of of uh, of my clips. And if I do this, the, the clip that's on the top will overlay the one that's on the bottom. So we'll do some more work on on how that works later on. Um, like most programs, you're going to save your project if you're not finished with it. And uh, later on, we'll talk about how you render your project out for... Um, for uh, uploading onto YouTube or wherever you wish to uh, have it. One other thing I'll note about the clip project, what the project been before we finish this uh, simple tutorial is that as you get more and more clips in the project bin, it can get a little bit confusing, particularly if you're working with audio files, etc. So you can create folders um, and organize clips under the under the folders, so that can be quite handy as as projects get bigger and bigger to um to organize clips in folders in the project bin. Um, it's a fairly intuitive interface once you get the hang of uh, video editing and how the interface works. Stay tuned for further uh, tutorials where I'm going to dig deeper into into doing more practical. Um, uh, work with Caden Live, and if you want to have a go at downloading it, just make sure you check out their website. It's um, CadenLive. dot uh, what is it? CadenLive. dot org. Uh, download it and have a play. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to be uh, notified for further tutorials in this series on Caden Live. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you uh, on the next one.